The Staffy is reminiscent of many other breeds of its kind, the Bully family. Like others of this breed, they were descended from the bulldogs of the bull baiting rings that transitioned into dog fighting and then were crossed with terriers to make them more determined. But the Staffy just definitely differ from the other breeds of its kind. In this appearance deep dive, we'll cover how the Staffy breaks away from the pack in terms of looks. Also, what might be some faults in the breed are what we might visually be aware of when selecting an individual. Let's take a look at the Staffy's breed standard to give us a good understanding of what the breed should look like to start us off. Here are some of the highlights and things to keep in mind. While the Staffy should be a muscular breed, with the muscles being easy to spot and well defined under its tightly fitted coat, it's also important to remember that the breed is an agile one. The dog should also be proportionate, so its legs shouldn't be too long or its back extending too far. If the dog is standing and you're looking at it from the side, the frame of its torso and leg should form something close to a square shape. The head of a Staffy should be broad and deep with those pronounced cheeks. However, their face shouldn't be set too far in. Their eyes should be dark, with some leeway for lighter fur colours having more vibrant eyes. The nose should also be black. The Staffy is one of the smaller breeds of the Bully family, but they should not lack in power and substance. Again, keep in mind that they should still be agile, not hulking. The male Staffy should be between 14 to 16 inches tall and weigh up to 28 to 38 pounds whereas females can be the same height, but should be a little lighter at 24 to 34 pounds. Next, let's talk about some faults in the Staffy breed as far as appearance goes. This doesn't matter so much if you're picking your Staffy companion from a rescue, but if you're gonna be going down the breeder route, you need to develop a critical eye on what the breed should look like. All breeders will produce a dog here and there that falls outside of the standard, but those whose dogs normally falls outside of the standard can be red flags. One of the biggest faults seen in the breed is a non-adherence to the height and weight guidelines of the standard, so pay close attention to the height and weight of individual. Another fault is a pink nose or pink skin around the eyes on dark colored dogs, so the skin around the eyes may be lighter if the dog has white fur around its eyes. One of the more serious faults in the breed has to do with ears. A Staffy's ears should be a rose type. This means that they're not entirely floppy, but they're not entirely erect. Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to ask, are you following us over on Instagram? If you're not, there's two accounts I would love for you to check out. The first one is our brand account, at Femria Canine Leaders, where you can see more about our industry leading products that we create. If you're interested in following me personally, that's at I am Will Atherton, where you can see behind the scenes of me working with some of the most extreme behavior cases in the world and what it takes to run these kind of YouTube channels. And maybe if you just want to be able to come over and chat with me, that's the place for you. So there'll be links down in the description box for both of our Instagram pages. I'd love for you to come and check them out and hopefully we'll chat over there. The last thing we'll cover is the Staffy's coat. It should always be that short, coarse hair that is easy to care for and their skin should always be tight against their body. So you don't want to see any skin that is sagging or a lot of wrinkles, if any. The Staffy comes in a large variety of solid colours and patterns. The accepted colours for the Staffy are red, fawn, white, black and blue. Any of these colours are also acceptable with white. Any shade of brindle or brindle with white are also among the standard accepted colours. There are some other colours within the Staffy breed that are throwbacks to the bulldogs that they were bred from, such as black and tan, as well as shades of liver. Neither of these colours are accepted by the breed standards and are considered an automatic disqualification in Staffy shows and events. To summarise this all up, the Staffy should be a small but mighty dog in appearance. They should always be proportionate in size and not be too muscular that it compromises their ability to move agilely. We hope this gives you an idea of what you should be looking for if you're bringing a Staffy into your home and what some of the things are that you might want to avoid.